years of that blessed marriage, Henry was tragically killed and Evelyn became a single mother of two young boys. But with her trademark perseverance, Evelyn, Evelyn went back to work. And all the years that she held a professional career as a teacher, she was also a mother and homemaker. She did the cooking and the cleaning and the entertaining, hosting the extended family for Jewish holidays, always having on hand a batch of her famous oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. I imagine that Evelyn must have been extremely well organized. You know, a place for everything and everything in its place. And I think that she had an insatiable curiosity. She was always learning. At the age of 50, she went back to school to get her master's degree from Northwestern University at a time when Northwestern was not so hospitable to Jews, but Evelyn was determined. She had a zest for life and she lived it to its fullest. By the way that she lived, she taught her family about taking care of those who needed it. She was a devoted daughter and daughter-in-law a loving and devoted sister. She was a proud mother and grandmother, quelling at every accomplishment of her children and grandchildren. She was like a mother to her nieces and nephews. And she was over the moon to be a great grandmother. Now, sad to say, her life has come to an end. And as we lay her here to her final rest, we know that we are fulfilling her decades long wish to be reunited with her beloved Henry. And we also know that the stories of her life, the lessons that she taught by precept and by example, will continue to live on in you who loved her and who will ever cherish her memory, the values that she lived by, honesty, integrity, hospitality, generosity, and love, those values are now bequeathed to you. And along with them, all of us who have come here today add these words of comfort and of prayer. May the God of life and death who gave her to you for so many years soon be manifest to you as the God of comfort and the God of healing, granting you strength to bear the burden of your loss and sending you solace to soothe the hurt in your hearts. Even as we pray in her memory, Zecher Tzadika Livracha, may the memory of this righteous woman be for blessing. Amen. Almighty God, who governest all things with infinite wisdom and mercy, and to guide us the destinies of humanity, as a father dost thou love us and showers thy blessings upon us. Therefore we shall not murmur even when sorrow befalls us, but with humility and unfaltering trust accept thy decrees. In joy and in sorrow alike, we praise thy goodness and acknowledge thy justice. We remember that we are but strangers upon earth. Like a shadow, our life fleeth away. Help us, O God. Help us so to walk in thy sight, that when the few years of our earthly pilgrimage are ended, we may be ready to meet our end with tranquil mind. To thee we look for comfort and strength when is now one of our beloved is taken from us, and thus a link is broken in the chain of love which binds us in family union. Though we now walk in the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil, for thou art with us. Be praised, O eternal our God, in all thy dispensations, and sanctified be thy name forever and ever. Amen. If you are able to do so, please stand.
אל מלא רחמים שוכן במרומים, אמצאי מנוחה נכונה תחת כנפי השכינה, במעלות קדושים וטהורים כזוהר הרקיע מאסירים. את נשמת חווה בת שמחה שלחה לעולמה, ועל הרחמים יסתיריה בסתר כנפיו לעולמים, ויצרור בצור החיים את נשמתה. אדוני הוא נחלתה, ותנוח בשלום המשכבה, ונאמר אמן. O God, full of compassion, eternal spirit of the universe, grant perfect rest under the wings of your presence, unto the soul of Avalon Hyman, our loved one who has entered eternity. Master of mercy, let her find refuge forever in the shadow of your wings. Bring her into your presence, and let her soul be bound up in the bond of eternal life. The eternal God is her inheritance. May she rest in peace, And let us say, Amen. Let us be thankful for the companionship that continues in a love stronger than death. Sanctifying the name of God, we honor Evelyn's memory with the hallowed words of Kaddish. Yitkadal, yitkadash me'erah, yalma divrach yurutev yamlif malfutev. בחייכון וביומכון ובחיי דחול בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קריב ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מברך לעולם ולעולמי עולמיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפעל ויתרומם ויתנשא. ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלה על שמי דקודשא בריחו. לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה. תשפחתה ונחמתה, גם איראן בילמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלם הרע בה מן שמיה וחיים, עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במומיו, הוא יעשה שלום. עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. May the source of peace send peace to you who mourn. May God soon comfort you amidst the mourners of Zion and Jerusalem, and we say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Friends, this concludes the service here, the liturgy of the service here of the graveside. We turn our attention now to what's known in our tradition as the mitzvah of Levayat Amet, the mitzvah of accompanying the dead to her final rest. We'll do that in just a moment after the... Uh, Workers have had a chance to lower the, the coffin into the grave. And then anyone who chooses to participate will do so by shoveling at least three shovels of earth onto the grave as a last act of loving kindness. <coughs> and after that, I'll ask you to stand over here in two rows facing each other to create an aisle through which the mourners will walk as they leave the graveside, giving us an opportunity to speak words of comfort to them immediately following the burial. <coughs> Oh, 
The ribbon is an outward symbol of mourning, so we wear it torn to symbolize the tear in our hearts. So I tear it, you'll say with me, children in the civil
corners we say, Hamakomi and Afem Afem Betok Shahara, we go to the old Yerushalayim. May God comfort you amidst the mourners of Zion and Jerusalem.